Hey guys, this is another juice review here. Um, I did a, a couple of videos earlier today. Um, one being um about the hero, and uh, second video on a scam token that's trending on Coin Market Cap named Pissing Cat. Anyways, um, the first video that I made about the hero actually was it was basically me just stake pool mining. Uh, the uh, yeah, stake liquidity pool mining yeah for for no try to pull a gold card and i didn't i didn't pull one i, I got 20 20 chances and i just got all 80 stake orange ones and just upgraded my my current ones so i'm not going to go through that video and do that and show that to you again since i didn't get a gold one but when i'm done mining um my release and I mine more. I'm gonna use all of uh, my De Hero tokens, which is just under two thousand De Hero tokens, and I'm gonna buy another 20, 20 some packs, and I'm gonna try to pull the gold card. Try to pull a gold card for you guys, and uh, hopefully we can get it. There's only a one percent chance that you can potentially get it from um, doing it the method that I'm that I showed you how to on my last video. But um, yeah, I just wanted to go through this uh, just to do a, a brief uh, video on the hero's price and basically like if it's really a good project to consider buying. Um, remember guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. This is for educational purposes only. Okay. Um, so yeah, here's the DeHero uh, price right now. This is on coin market cap this is the live trading the chart uh, i'm gonna go to the all chart okay so this came out probably about just in september of 2021 so about a year ago and uh yeah if you looked at it it came out around two dollars and it just went up to 250 260 and then it just started going down and then there's been some pushes upwards momentum with you know updates in the project or whatnot i probably got into this project i would say i got into it about here i've been in this project so yeah it's been on a constant downtrend ever since and yeah given by what the chart is and and looking at that like this project doesn't look like it's going to be revived at all but but realistically because it's so new and there's a lot of utility behind it the game's functional it works it's a pretty good game, really great return on rewards. Like, what am I getting? 170 APY, constantly mining towards uh, the native De Hero token. So I've got about over around 8,000 De Hero staked within my cards. Um, so yeah, looking at the chart, it doesn't look like it's doing so well. And realistically, if I was a newcomer and I'd look at this, you know, I'd see this as a red flag. That being said, uh, it's just basically went down from. 260 to just under just a little over four cents like that's that's pretty bad but given how new the project is and the upgrades that are going on like it's emerging over to rangers protocol and rangers protocol is a layer two uh chain that's going to be um having a lot of different applications built on it and the hero being one of them so that being said, uh, I've used Rangers Protocol. I've tested the Hero game, the new updated version of the Hero game on that chain, and it runs very smoothly. It's very nice. Um, Rangers cur Protocol is currently in beta beta stage at the moment. So realistically, yeah, it's, it's going to look like this until there's going to be some marketing. And I can pretty much almost guarantee that the marketing is going to happen when it goes live on Rangers Protocol. So... We're just waiting for that to happen. So yeah, I'm going to show you a couple other charts here. This is this is another play to earn game that's on Coin Market Cap. It came out around the exact same time the Hero did. Um, it's called Heroes. Surprisingly, it's coincidentally the relatively the same name, but it's called Heroes and Empires. Um, I'm going to go to the All. It's been out since October of 2021, so pretty much the exact same time. I found out about these tokens pretty much the same time. Actually, they were released on Coin Market Cap is when I actually found them. But yeah, so if you look at the chart, charting is pretty much the same thing. Um, the prices are a little bit different. It's because the supply is different, right? The the circulating supply and uh, the current supply and all that has to play with the, the value of the actual price. Um, okay, yeah. So the chart looks pretty much, it looks similar, right? It's It's 
doing the exact same thing. It pumps up and then it goes down with all the FUD and bad news and just the trending and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty much similar. Do I think this token's going to come back? Maybe. I don't really know too much about Heroes and Empires, but I do know about the hero and I know what the hero has coming. I do. Not financial advice. Do your own research. But, so I'm not going to show you about this anymore. I'm just showing you like with other player games, mostly like all of them are looking pretty much like this. NFT games, it's all relative. But Axies Infinities, that's a little bit different. You know, there's a lot of hype around that game. They built a really good foundation. They built it on the Ethereum blockchain. A lot of people are a lot of skeptical about building or even um, investing into anything on the Binance Smart Chain, especially because the, the SEC is doing an investigation on, uh, on Binance and they're trying to determine whether or not it's a security. So there's a lot of FUD going around Binance right now. Do I think Binance is going to survive? Yeah, I do. I do think Binance is going to survive. I think Binance is going to be around forever. If Binance wasn't around, guess what? We wouldn't have coin market cap. Yes, there is other websites that offer, you know, like pricing and everything like that. But the, the, the most popular one is coin market cap. Um, there's way more things that uh, Binance does that it, if Binance went down, crypto would take a major hit. You think Luna and Celsius and all this other stuff that FUD that's surrounding it, you think that would, that, that we took a pretty good hit, but if Binance went down, uh, yeah, I would honestly see some serious, serious like price drop on everything. Crypto would, I don't know. It would be a hard time for crypto to come back from that. I'm going to be honest here. But anyways, uh, back to the video here. So I'm going to show you Rangers Protocol. This is uh, this is a layer two that the hero is going to be uh, building on. Um, this project is only a year old. I think not even in a year old. I don't know. The current price right now is $1.89. Um, it's on the Ethereum blockchain and it's also on the Binance Smart Chain. Okay, we're going to check out the alt chart. Check out the alt, alt chart. You see, it, got, it looks kind of similar than uh, to the Hero and uh, Hero's Empire. If you look at the charting, it's exactly the same thing. You know, came out actually around the exact same time, actually, too. So if you look at it, they're doing the same thing. Okay. Um, you guys, I'm going to actually be making a video strictly for Rangers Protocol. And I'm going to go through basically everything on why i feel like this is actually going to be a really great investment for your future or for any future not financial advice this is just for educational purposes this is my opinion i really believe that rangers protocol is going to go parabolic i think that rangers protocol is going to skyrocket so high and obviously it will start coming down it'll consolidate but it's it's people that don't know about this project they don't know because rangers really not they're not doing any marketing okay they're not doing any marketing till the till the blockchain till the chain's finished, and it's still in beta mode. I think it's ninety percent done. And when they do enter out of that phase and they launch this, so it's out of beta, it is going to fly. It will fly. It only has twenty one million supply. The market cap is so tiny. Like one of these coins, we're sitting at sixty five dollars a coin. Like that's that's that's. Pretty, pretty good considering the price is only $1.89. Even if it went to that, that's really great. It's a good return right there. Um, okay, so showing you these charts, they all look similar, right? So I'm going to show you a project that's a little bit older, and it's all correlated. They're all working together. They're partners with each other, except for that Heroes Empire. They're not Heroes Empire, that one I showed you that was similar to, to Hero. This is not in relation to that. Mix Marvel actually is a partner of Rangers Protocol, the Hero, all of it. They have lots of play to earn games that are successful. This is a really big company that actually has a lot going for it. They have a massive community. They've got a lot of money pumped behind it. Same thing with Rangers Protocol. They're doing something behind the scenes that could be really, really crazy. My opinion, not financial advice. But anyways, I'm going to go to the all chart here and I'm going to show you guys basically if you look right here, when this, this project came out in September 2019, if you look right here, it, it, it pretty much did the exact same thing, you know, on past retracements of the other ones, right? If you look at it, for about a year, it pretty much flatlined it. There was a couple spikes here and there, but it's just pretty much just consolidating, getting stronger and stronger. And then there was a massive spike here, but it did come back, you know? It did come back, and it's and it's kind of just following the same trend as the rest on its on the last quarter here. But 
that's just proof guys like in time like these projects can come back yeah sure it didn't come back up to this this lineup here of support it, it you know it touched it but it acted as resistance and it got pushed down right like who knows if there's you know supply being pumped out with the tokens the market cap's still relatively high um it just did eight million dollars in volume yesterday like i don't know the circulating supply of this, they've already given out pretty much almost half of the circulating supply. The total supply is $10 billion, so they have half of it out. But, okay, to sum this all up, guys, is it a risk investing into these projects? Yeah, it is. It is a risk, but you, you got to look at when you're going to want to buy these projects. If, you ever, if they ever do come back, you don't want to be buying them up here, okay? That's not when you want to be buying these projects you don't want to be buying them up here okay you want to be buying them right here you want to be accumulating right here you know dcaing that's dollar cost averaging as much as you can don't don't when they when we get dips like look for instance we'll go three months here one month okay so this is just lots of volume right now don't know what's going on there but when you get dips you want to invest little bits into the dips you know don't don't throw all your money into one basket especially and don't try to don't don't try to catch a falling knife because anyone that tries catching a falling knife you'll it, it ends badly like there's blood so you want to wait till it's to stabilize a bit you want it to hit a floor before you start buying if it goes down a little more you, you dca you pretty much just chase the bottom but you don't want to be catching a falling knife you'll lose every time um another thing too guys uh What's really, really good about these two projects here, I don't really know about Mixed Marvel too much, but let's see here. So Mixed Marvel is on a lot of exchanges. It is a well-known. It's pretty, it's not on like too many, but it's on a lot. This that's I'm not invested into Mixed Marvel, but I am invested into Rangers, Rangers Protocol. And if you look at it, Rangers Protocol doesn't have many exchanges or DEXs that are uh trading this 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 asset so that that right there is a is a pretty good indication that they will be listing them and you know those are huge catalysts for future price action and you know making some good money same thing with the hero the hero as well this just shows you that you know look at there's only three different dexes that are there's one centralized exchange and then there's two dexes that are essentially these are the same one it's just two different pairs, but it just shows you like how early it is and, and how in, like the infant stages that these projects are and where they could potentially go. All they need is, you know, some marketing and some investors, you know, a lot of the, uh, sorry, a lot of NFT games play to earn, they die out because if they don't have money coming in, then essentially they'll just, they'll just die because they always need to constantly have money coming in to pay the holders that are playing the games. In this case, the hero did it a little different. You're actually playing a game, yes, that's the concept. But the NFTs, they're they're not really NFTs. They are NFTs, but you could just create more. NFTs are normally something that you can't replicate. There's only a limited supply of them. They're not fungible, right? But this this case, they pretty much just use the De hero token as the purchasing token for the the game and then you're staking you know you're buying your cards your equipment and then you're staking it in the game and it's just going to be paying you from the mining pool so realistically you're just mining you know it's just how much can you with your strategic moves how much could you be pulling from the pool depending on your moves and your cars and what you pull so realistically this this game doesn't essentially apply yes you need investors but does it need to be constantly going up no this is just a perfect opportunity for whales or people with lots of money to come in and buy this buy this all up this supply if you look at the supply of the hero guys it's only at 21 million 21 million supply they've only they've already given out just less than half of the supply so far like this this is great you want to buy tokens that have you know low supply that have utility behind it. And like I said, I'm making 170% a 
PY on this bad boy. I'm making like 37 to hero per day. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's four cents per hero, so it's not that much money. But you know what? If it ever does go back up to two dollars and fifty cents, or even three dollars, or maybe five dollars, which even following the same course as Axis Infinities, um, I probably will never have to work a job again. And I could live off of just my to hero mining. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here just to show you uh, the different charts here and not what what uh, if the hero is a good investment or just comparing to other charts. And uh, yeah, you guys can just do your own research here. Um, but anyways, if you uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, guys, I'm putting out videos every every week, once a week, like it, comment down below. I will do a, a specific video for a project if on any chain, just let me know what it is down below and uh yeah guys um we'll catch you next time